how to measure clock signal with TMS 320F2806. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to MeviHub.com. Today, we're diving into an essential topic for microcontroller enthusiasts, understanding clock frequencies and how to configure them using the TMS 320F28069 microcontroller. Clock frequencies are crucial for proper timing in embedded systems. So, let's get started. Before we delve into configuring clock frequencies, let's talk about why they are so important in the world of microcontrollers. What is the TMS 320F28069? So, what is the TMS 320F28069 microcontroller? Well, it's a high-performance, 32-bit microcontroller with an clock frequency of 90 MHz that's part of Texas Instrument C2000 series. Designed with precision and efficiency in mind, this microcontroller is a popular choice for a wide range of applications, from motor control to digital power conversion and beyond. Let's talk about the importance of clock frequencies. A microcontroller's clock frequency determines how fast it can execute instructions and handle tasks. It synchronizes the operation of various components within the microcontroller, ensuring everything happens at the right time. The TMS 320F28069 can be clocked from various sources, including an internal oscillator, an external crystal, or an external clock. Each source has its advantages, depending on the specific project requirements. But first, let's briefly discuss why you might want to do this. Here are a few instances where measuring clock signals can be essential. First verifying clock accuracy, you may want to make sure that a microcontroller or other components in your circuit are receiving the correct clock frequency for proper operation. Second debugging, when troubleshooting issues in your project, checking the clock signal can help identify problems related to timing or synchronization. Third frequency adjustment, you might need to adjust the clock frequency of a microcontroller to match the requirements of your project. Now, let's get into the step-by-step -step guide on how to configure the TMS 320F28069 to measure a clock signal and use an oscilloscope for measurement. Here's what you'll need for this tutorial to measure the clock signal. One TMS 320F28069 development board. Two oscilloscope. Three jumper wires. Step one, check Sklokow. First check whether your microcontroller has an Sklokow pin or not. If it is not there, then you can't find the clock frequency. Step one, check Sklokow. First check whether your microcontroller has an Sklokow pin or not. If it is not there, then you can't find the clock frequency. Checking for Sklokow pin, microcontrollers often come with a dedicated pin called Sklokow, which is designed to output the clock signal. So, the first thing you should do is verify whether your specific microcontroller model has this Sklokow pin. Importance of Sklokow pin If your microcontroller doesn't have this Sklokow pin, you won't have a direct means to access the clock signal it generates. This pin serves as the gateway to monitor it and measure the clock frequency accurately. Step 2 Connect the TMS 320F28069 development board. Connect the output of your clock source to a PO18 pin on the TMS 320F28069 board that supports clock input. In this example, we'll use PO18. Ensure the grounds are connected as well. Step 3, configure the PO pin for the clock input. Open your development environment, such as Code Composer Studio, and configure the PO pin as an input pin for capturing the clock signal. You'll need to set up the proper peripheral and register configurations. Check the datasheet and reference manual for your microcontroller for exact details. 
Write the necessary code to initialize the capture module on the TMS 320F28069. Step 4. Set up the oscilloscope. Now, connect your oscilloscope probe to the same PO pin on the TMS 320F28069 that you connected your clock source to. Make sure the oscilloscope is set up to measure frequency and time. You will need an oscilloscope or a frequency counter to precisely measure the clock frequency. Connect the measurement device's probe or input to the pin designated for PO18. Then take these actions. 1. Flash the code to your TMS 320F28069 microcontroller after compiling it. 2. Activate the microcontroller. 3. Connect the probe of your oscilloscope to the Sklkout PO18. Pin on your microcontroller or other end probes connect to the ground. 4. Measure the time period, T, of one complete cycle of the waveform in seconds. You can do this by measuring the time it takes for one rising, or falling, edge to repeat. Step 5. Capture and analyze the signal. Start capturing the signal on your oscilloscope. You should see the clock signal waveform displayed on the screen. Measure the frequency and any other relevant parameters, such as the duty cycle, to ensure the signal meets your requirements. Step 6. Adjust clock signal, if necessary. If the measured frequency doesn't match your desired value, you can adjust the clock source accordingly and repeat the measurement until you achieve the desired clock frequency. There you have it. You've successfully learned how to use the TMS 320F28069 to measure a clock signal output from a microcontroller or any external source. This can be a crucial step in ensuring the proper operation of your embedded systems projects. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to check out more fantastic tutorials on MeviHub.com. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Thank you for joining us today, and happy experimenting with your TMS320F28069 microcontroller.